So what the heck are we doing now, Lanny? Well, I wasn't going to do anything for the solar eclipse, but... <laughs> but all my other hip, cool YouTube friends are, so I figured I better too. Uh, my video will be a little later than it needs to be, but we're going to build a camera obscura and we'll try to take some photos of the partial eclipse we'll get here. We're going to build it out of an old telescope my mom got me for my birthday a couple years ago. And it's an old Vivitar. So the tripod is really shakety shakety. Um, and I've used it to see Jupiter and Saturn a bit, but it's it's quite frustrating because there's such a little tiny dot way out in the middle of nowhere and like the oddest bump and it's like and you're like way off of some other sector of space looking at an alien. But the sun's pretty big and pretty in our face, so I don't think it's gonna be much of an issue. Uh, might make my shots look a little shakier than I want, but be better than not getting any shots. Um, ba -bum 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 -bum. Yeah. I originally was gonna use these crappy Vivitar. <laughs> binoculars. But, yeah, I remembered I had this telescope, so I figured we'd just try that. So I got my cardboard box. So you can remove these quite easily. There's usually a screw. I've had mine off for a while. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna find about center face. And what this will do is shield the background so we can actually see the image without there being so much sun distortion. I shouldn't be doing this with such dirty fingers. I didn't notice. This will probably be the one video that I get that gets a really big and famous, like Steve's. A bunch of flat earthers will pick it up and then I'll never get a flat earther wife because they'll think my fingers are too dirty. So now you just want to cut a hole, easy peasy, lemon squeezy like, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to show you how to cut a hole. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, I lied. I don't believe in you. Okay. So you take your knife and you stab it, and then you saw. As you can see now, right. yeah, right. There. Ta da! You are beautiful. Since this is going so well, I have determined you also need a hot glue gun with some hot glues and a chicken. I don't know what to do with the hot glues. And some kind of electricity. I don't know. However you want to get electricity. Because she's extra silicone. She's so kind, baby. Alright, 
You want that cool? Break off any of that axes. Yeah, let that cool for a bit. So yeah, after you're done, you just plop this bad boy on there. Uh, I colored it with my Sharpie brand Sharpie really fast there. Uh, and then yeah, pro tip is to aim it, point it in your hand like that. And you can kind of see how there's a bit of sun and then boom. If you have a better tripod, this works better, but. That's kind of what I was saying. Uh, it was really hard to track anything in this thing. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, it's upside down. You can see the sun clear as day there. And then there's the trees. Yeah, I'm in the middle of watching Steve's video. Uh, Steve and Sarah and all them. And then uh, <laughs> I had to run out quick. And I was like, oh, I better do this before. But yeah, you can see it. The sun is bright. It's that spot of brilliant little light there. Maybe I'll try making a dark box in a couple days and we'll see what we get. Actually found a better angle. You can see the you can see the sun setting behind the trees. Pretty clear image when you get it in the right spot. It's like really clear to me. But the cell phone's kind of limited. Uh, there. That's a pretty good image actually.
See, this is why I don't do things. I'm all obscured up and nowhere to go. <laughs> oh, well. We might get a little bit of it still. But yeah, I can't even see the sun, let alone. But yeah. Oh, well. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty cloudy. So you can see the clouds are also being obscured, projected. I guess would be a better way of seeing it. Pretty sweet though. I should have made another separate projector to make it bigger, but. Oh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, that's what my day mostly ended up being. Oh well. See, Buddy wasn't smart and he didn't wear eye protection when he looked at the solar event. <coughs> Don't be like Buddy, wear eye protection. <laughs> yeah, you don't need him just for the, like, the eclipse. You can, like I say, we were just looking at the sun now. <clears throat> so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll try to make it better in the future. <coughs> Click buddy to subscribe and make sure to check out everybody else's videos. I'll post one of Travis's. I'll post Steve's. I don't know, somebody else. I don't know, figure something out. Probably through the lens if they make one.